Lucifer, H.P. Satan. I am the devil. I'm fiendish, treacherous, rotten, evil. Why am I telling you all this? I already got the job. <laughs> I collect souls. Tonight, I'm going to buy the soul of the most lecherous man in America. The last time I saw her, she wound up on the floor. <laughs> Nineteen twenty-eight. That was a good year for drunks. <laughs> All right. Scappity do. Little music. Well, now just wait till Cynthia gets here. Am I going to be evil tonight? <laughs> H.P. Satan. What's the H.P. stand for? Hot pants. Hot pants. <laughs> I've come to buy your soul, brother. You want a soul, brother? Try Sammy Davis. <laughs> hey, fella, you really the devil? I'll prove it. Watch this. <laughs> I'm great at magic, but I'm a lousy bolt. <laughs> With your capabilities, your drive, your talent. Oh, what do you want me for, anyway? Huh? The truth, the truth. You're Italian, we need help in the kitchen. Hi, Dean. Cynthia! <laughs> Hot pants? Yes? No, no. I, I... <laughs> Why don't you get lost, huh? Why should I get lost? She can't see me. To her, I'm invisible. She doesn't even know I'm here. I'll show you. Stand by. You see? I'm invisible. <laughs> lucky? Just lucky. She can't see me. She just got lucky. And if you leave the two of us alone, maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> Look, the lady and I have a big evening plan. A little candlelight, a little wine, then some manicotti. Manicotti? Yeah, then a little cacciatore. Cacciatore? And then after dinner, we go to the couch, cuddle up, and you know what comes after that. Ferracini? That's what you call it? You must think the sensuous woman is a cookbook. <laughs> Twenty million dollars to Chi-Chi, your French poodle. However you are mentioned in the will, it says you, you'll have to come in every 90 days and change the flea collar. <laughs> uh, same to you, Mr. Sanders. Uh, Mrs. Bleepo is here to see you, sir. Oh, well, you're the widow of the great circus clown. Send her in. Hello. Hello. <laughs> sit down. Yeah, Thank you. Sit, sit down. I have your... Late husband's will, right here. Oh, thank you. I just want you to know that I thought your late husband was the greatest clown that the circus ever had. Oh, being Bleepo's wife for 23 years, sharing his life, well, it was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I was proud to be a clown's wife, and I'm sorry I can't control myself, but nothing seems the same without him. <laughs> I'm so lonely, I'd like to end it all. Uh, do you happen to know any good books on suicide? Well, how about what you always wanted to know about sex before, uh, but you were afraid to ask? Huh? Well, what does that have to do with suicide? Well, when you find out what you've been missing, you want to kill yourself. I wish you hadn't said that. I'm terribly sorry. I, I must look a mess. Well, oh, where are my cigarettes? Oh, here they are. Hmm. Bleepo was always so generous. He loved fat people. He had a three-ring heart. 
Hey, we have an ashtray. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm so sorry. It's just that I'm so upset. <laughs> there now. Do go on. All right. The, the rest of Bleepo's estate goes to you, Mrs. Bleepo. That, that includes his uh, funky clown hat, his funky suit, and what he loved most, his funky underwear. Oh. <laughs> the ones with the trap door that lit up and said, here, come to judge. You know? Oh. <laughs> He was real circus. Why, he'd kill for one roasted peanut. I know, that's how he went. The elephant saw the peanut first. <laughs> right, now, just sign here, Mr. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I, I can't see a thing without my glasses. Oh, oh yes, this seems to be in perfect order. I'll, I'll just sign it right on the bottom. <laughs> there we... Oh, whoops. <laughs> 